Hi, my name is Ali Legra, and I'm going to walk you through a gizmo today. Have you seen how fast superheroes can react? Let's test your reaction time and see how you react. In the Reaction Time 1 gizmo, we can measure reaction time and then calculate the range, mode, median, and mean of your data. Data can even be displayed on a list, table, bar graph, or dot plot. Let's jump right in and start experimenting. Once I click the Begin Experiment button, I will watch intently as the ruler drops and click any key on my keyboard to catch it. Oops, I missed that one. I'll try again and try to be faster this time. As I catch the ruler, my data is being recorded below as a list. Once I have a nice sample size, I'll click End Experiment. Now I can analyze my reaction time by looking at it in a variety of displays. List, Table, Dot Plot, and Bar Graph. I can also show the statistics of my data by clicking on the Show Statistics box and choosing Range, Mode, Median, or Mean. Now that I'm looking at the mean depicted on the bar graph, I wonder what would happen if I restarted my experiment. Hmm, isn't that interesting? I can add data points and watch as the statistic adjusts. Curious to test your reaction time with other items? Simply click Reset and then pick a mode from the drop-down and choose from rulers, targets, or even entering your own data sets. Did you also see that there's an option to test rulers with sound? That would be a great point of comparison. Every gizmo has a set of lesson materials. I would like to give you some ideas of how this gizmo can be used within your classroom. As a pre-gizmo activity, I like to allow students to experience the ruler drop activity in real life. With teams of four or more, students rotate the roles of dropping, reacting or catching, timing, and recording. Make sure to use a yardstick for slower responses and have the reaction person rest their hand on a desk so as to get an accurate reading. Activity B and C in the Student Exploration Guide allow students not only to analyze data but compare it as well when they look at their reaction times with sight versus sound and left versus right reactions. I like to create a table of the class's data as a whole and see if the students can create an ideal situation with their faster hand and faster sight versus sound reflex. The teacher guide has an excellent follow-up activity that puts students in the driver's seat, allowing them to predict what the correlation between time of day, food, video games, and reaction times is. Now that you're fast as lightning, continue the fun with the Reaction Time 2 gizmo. I hope you drop in again soon. Bye for now, Gizmos fans.